Hello there YouTube, this is Robbie Rocket Pence, and today I'm not going to be playing a game, I'm actually going to be showing you how you can record your in-game audio and your Skype or TeamSpeak audio, your friends basically, in separate audio channels. Now you might think why would you want to do that? Well if you record uh, video game YouTube videos, that was a bit of a mouthful sorry, if you if you record videos, you know that um, when you when you're playing with friends, they might cough, sneeze, uh, make fun of your mom, or do something that you don't want them to do, and it's very difficult to edit them afterwards when you've got your your TeamSpeak or your Skype mixed in with your in-game sound. In fact, it's pretty much impossible to do. What I'm going to show you allows you to record these two things independently of one another which means that you can edit them independent of one another um, and this requires uh, two programs DX Tori is the first which is your video recording software and then there's the virtual audio cable uh, which is the software that allows you to do this uh, separation um, now I followed lots and lots of tutorials online trying to get this to work for myself and the only one that I could find that worked was the one that I'm going to show you guys uh, and it it requires five instances of virtual audio cable uh, running which is more than um, most of the other tutorials most of them only require two to three I'm not really sure exactly why that is that it doesn't it wouldn't work for me but I s really struggled with trying to get this to work so I figured I'd do a video on it um, I've been able to use this setup with lots of different uh, audio setups. Um, I use a different, mi I use a separate microphone to the uh, headphones that I'm using right now. But this will, al this should also work with a USB headset that has a microphone attached to it. I've used that before too. So this should be a, a kind of all-in-one thing. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to virtual audio cable uh, I'll put uh, links in the descriptions but uh, virtual audio cable is the first thing you need to download this now you can use it for free up to a certain point I would suggest you get the full version I don't remember what it costs it's not very much um, and it's certainly worth it and it really is the only way that you can do this if you want to do it so go here get virtual audio cable um, install it and what you will get then we go here is this should be your uh, folder that it's installed in now the first thing you need to do is you need to click on this here this is uh, vcctlpan.exe virtual I don't know what that stands for it doesn't matter anyway just double click it right so now we've got this so this is where you want this is where you're going to set up your cables um, now we need three of them. You can pause the video here if you like um, and just take a look at these settings. I don't really remember, to be honest, I don't really know whether any of this really matters that much. But what the, the most important thing is that you need to go up here to driver parameters and you want to make this three and then you would click set. And these will pop up here. So you want to change these settings, uh, set three cables, click set and then I don't remember if it will actually tell you to restart your computer, but I would suggest you do that. And um, once you've done that, the next thing that you should see after you've restarted is if you go down here, you want to double check and make sure that your cables are actually, you know, installed essentially or active. So go down here, right click and go to uh, recording devices and scroll down. And you should see, you see here, virtual audio cable, line one, line two, and line three. So we've got three audio cables. Now what we're going to use these audio cables for is to, essentially what we're going to do is pipe your in-game sound and your Skype or TeamSpeak sound. Or, or it doesn't even have to be, it could be anything. I, I personally, I use uh, Dolby uh, Axon, which is a free and very good um, sort of TeamSpeak-like thing um, but whatever you use you need these three cables because we're going to use these to pipe the audio in through separate uh, 
channels essentially. So once we've got this going, um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go back to this folder and we want to double click on the audio repeater.exe. Now there is this KS one. I forget what KS stands for. It's kernel something or other. I never was able to get this to work for me, so I would ignore that. Use this one. You want to double click and you will get this. Now we're going to need five of these open. Um, I actually have a, a couple of bat files here that automatically open the cables or open the instances for me and I'll show you how to set this up uh, in a minute because every time you record you have to set these up you can't save these these settings that you put in here so without this dot bat file here that will automatically open them you'd have to go into here double click this five times to open up five of these and then you'd have to s uh, change each one and you know blah 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 you don't want to have to do that every time but for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to start with this one here and what we what we have here is we've got uh, we've got a wave in these are the two this there's, there's wave in and wave out are the two most important uh, and then there's total buffer and buffers which we're also going to change as well um, make sure it's on 16 and on stereo as well priority I just keep it normal I don't actually really know what that does so I just leave it like that if I were you uh, so the wave in, um, these are going to be, we're going to set those and we're going to set the wave out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this bat file uh, so that I can open up all five at once and then we'll have a look at them. So you see now down here I've got audio repeaters. Oops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all five. Um, so yeah, you typically without the bat file you'd have to do all of these manually um, and I'm going to stop these uh, so these are the five uh, audio repeaters that you're going to need to get this to work um, now the first one there isn't the, these don't have to be done in any specific order but you have to do them like this so this first one, so let's go from, uh, you know, clockwise. So the first one here is my microphone. or So mine is the, is the FA66. That's my mic, or actually that's my audio uh, controller. But uh, this would be your microphone. I think, uh, yeah, I've got microphone here. I've got my webcam microphone if I wanted to use that. But this is the mic that I want to use. So this is your microphone here. You set that. You set wave out to line two. Okay. Second one, it's going to be line three to line two. Third one, line three to your headphones. Now, I have my headphones plugged into my computer tower. Um, if you have some sort of external speaker setup or whatever it is, it should it should set it should be in here. But essentially, whatever is allowing your audio to come through your headphones that's what you want to select there are there are other options in here for me but this is what I need to select here for me it's speakers headphones for you it could be something else but whatever it is that you know is is pumping audio through your headphones that's what you select for this one the fourth one here is line one to line two and the very last one is line one to uh, again to your speakers your headphones whatever it is okay now the other thing that you want to change is you want to change the total buffer and the buffers you see here they're all at 100 and at 5 now essentially what the buffer is doing is that is the speed at which the audio is traveling through these cables I think by default the total buffer is 500 and the buffers is 12 I have found that 500 causes an uh, an audio it'll cause a delay in your game audio through your headphones and I think also when you record which obviously you don't want so I found that the that this works well to stop that from happening so set the buffers to 100 oh, excuse me the total buffer to 100 the buffers to 5 now once you've set all these up you want to click start on all of them 
and get them all going. And you, now we've got all these running. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to go, we need a copy of DX Tory. Now this comes from, again, I'll, the, this, the uh, links are in the description. This is xcode.com or just, you know, Google DX Tory. It's DX T-O-R-Y and uh, get a copy of this. Now again, this is, I think uh, there are limitations on how many channels you can have available to you in the trial. So again, I would suggest that you purchase this. Uh, it's a really, really, really good program. I think it's the best one that I've used anyway because it's completely customizable and uh, I think it's the only one that will work with, with this system to be able to, to make this work. So once you've got DX Tory, uh, you want to load it up. Let me just get rid of these so there's not too much clutter. And this is DX Tory. Now I'm not, I'm not going to go into. There's all kinds of other settings for you know uh, video and what have you. That's all. That's all up to you. We're only we're only worried about the audio right now. You want three. Because what you can do in DX Story and why it's so good is that if I click on this plus button, I can have, as it says here, it says add audio stream, and I can have up to eight different audio streams re being recorded separately. Um, we want three, so click this three times, and then what we want to do is we want to have the first one. I, g I actually don't think it matters, this is just the order that I have it. Um, we want the first one set to line one. The second one set to your microphone, the same microphone that you use in your audio cable, and the third one set to line three. Um, now, in DX Story here, we can select the quality. Now, my microphone I have set to mono because a microphone is mono. The uh, microphones are not stereo devices, so there's really no reason to record in stereo. In fact. I think with my microphone, if I record in stereo, it, it records to the only the left channel, which of course f sounds really weird. So I would put this to mono, and you want it at about 48 hertz. It's definitely at 16 bit, but at 48 hertz, you could get away with 44, uh, but 48 is probably where you want to be at. Um, however, line uh, the the line one and the line three, they definitely need to be set to stereo because these are your um, these are your game audio and your uh, Skype and TeamSpeak audio. Um, I, I would set both of these to stereo just to be sure that you're going to get stereo when, when you want stereo. Okay. So with that done, um, the next thing that we need to do, uh, and I, I'm going to have to consult my little list here because I can't remember. Um, so playback, playback and record. So what we need to do now is we need to go to playback devices and what did that say so playback devices you need to set to line 3 so you click on line 3 and you select set default set as default just click it and there you go you're done now if you go into prop I should mention this because this did catch me once or twice uh, oops Sorry, hold on. It's in record, actually. You'll notice that in record, you also got line one and line two and line three. Now, what you do not want is if you click on properties, there's this that says listen. You don't want listen to this device checked at all in any of these cables because that will cause all kinds of crazy nonsense going on and it's going to drive you crazy and you're not going to understand why it's all messed up and why you've got this crazy echo and why you can hear your own mic in your headset and all this stuff. So just be absolutely sure that under listen this is this is not checked for any of these under the recording. It's not it's not available under uh under uh, uh playback. But playback we need we need the um we need line 3 set to the default. And in recording we want our microphone which for me again is FA66 but make sure that's set to default, the same mic that you're going to be using to record in DX Story. Now, once we've done that, 
the final thing that we need to do, I'm actually just going to set that back to my headphones. Uh, uh, what's the final thing? Oh, is our, um, is our, whatever it is, our TeamSpeak or something. Now, I, as I said earlier, I use uh, Dolby Axon. And uh, why isn't it signing me in? That's weird. Uh, now, for me, um, this is my this is my options here. But for Skype or for Teamspeak or for whatever it is, um, it's going to essentially be the same thing. The input device here for me is my microphone. Again, you want it to be m your microphone, and it's the same in Skype. And I think the output device was to line one. Yeah. So in your output device, i.e., your headphones you need to set that to line one like that and so essentially what this is all doing is it's it's allowing you to hear the game um, but it's also allowing DX Story to independently hear the game uh, hear it independently from the the uh, team speak um, but by setting line three as your uh, playback and in here line one that's allowing you to hear your friends and the game um, but then within DX Tory it's it's now able to split that so with all of this set up um, we are basically good to go you record your uh, your video in DX Tory and when you go into your editing software like Vegas or Premiere or whatever it is you use what should happen, you shouldn't even have to do anything, uh, what should happen is that you should just be able to drag that over into your editing software and you will see th your video and you will see three audio channels which should be your microphone on one channel, your uh, game sound on another channel and your friends on the third channel and none of them should be bleeding into each other, you shouldn't be able to hear uh, your friends on the same channel as the game, you shouldn't be able to hear your microphone on the same channel as your game, that kind of thing. It should They should all be separate. Um, some audio, uh, some video programs I know do not uh, do not automatically make that split. You might drag it into your editing program and it may just have one audio channel. If that's the case, what you need to do is you need to go to your the video that you've recorded you need to right click on that video and you'll see uh, an option under the the menu that says extract audio and when you click on that it will extract into the same folder as your video the three wave files that you will need and then you can just drag the video and those three files uh, wave files into your uh, video program and they should all be perfectly synced up um, you shouldn't have a problem with that. And then that's it, basically. And uh, you can edit to your heart's content. Now, the one thing I will show you quickly is that, um, as I said at the beginning, um, the one disadvantage, well, not disadvantage, but the one the one uh, sort of pain in the ass with uh, the virtual audio cables is that you have to double click on, you know, five of them. And you've got to set all those settings. And with five, you know, it takes... It's hard to remember. In fact, that's what I've got this notepad here for. I've actually written them down um, just in case I need to know what they are. But um, what you can do is you can create what I have here, which is called, I just called it vacstart.bat. Now, I actually created this, as you will see, in just in notepad. Now, what this is, uh, I would pause the video here at this point and I would copy these down. What this is, you want to just copy and paste this into uh, Notepad. What it's doing is, as you see here, it's starting these f these five instances of audio the audio cable, audio repeater. Obviously, here this is the install directory for the audio repeater.exe, and here we're setting what the input's going to be and the output. We're setting the buffer and the buffer. Uh, I forget what that is. The, that's the buffers and the total buffers, yeah. And then auto start means that it will, it will do that, uh, you know, uh, start. Um, 
Now, what you do need to do with the outputs here, you'll see that, uh, for example, speakers, headphones, IDT, it doesn't actually finish that right there. And that's because if we look in audio repeater, that's what it says, you see here, speakers, headphones, it cuts it off. So you have to go into the audio repeater here and you have to look at what it says and type it in exactly as it says here. Even if it, see how this one here, right, we don't use this one, but it cuts it off, IDT high. I would type in IDT high, you know, digital output, S, P, D, I, F, all of it with the parentheses, all of it. Just type in exactly what it says for each one of the ones that you want. Um, and once you've done that and you've got this right, then you uh, would do save as and just give it a name. And instead of uh, finishing it dot uh, txt as it as Notepad would do usually, you finish it as dot bat. Um, I keep it on my desktop because it's just easy then to to access. Um, and yeah, and if you've typed it incorrectly and you've got this, this is this is probably the stickiest part. Sometimes if you don't type this in right. Uh, it'll pop up with an uh, with an error that says can't find this, you know, source. So just make sure that those are correct. And yeah, you uh, you double click on this, and you should have, as I have here, well, four plus this one. So yeah, you'd have these in here. And what you can also do then is, if we have a look at this one, this is just another bat file, and it just says uh, test kill im audio repeater dot exe, and you will see. I've got four repeaters there. If I just double click this, this is vac dot uh, vac stop dot bat. Double click, and all the, they're all closed. They're not all closed. You son of a bitch. Well, they should be. Cheeky. Let's try that again. Hold on. Start them all up. I think it's probably because it was all messed up. Yeah. And stop. And there you see, they're all gone. Did they do it? Yeah, it did that. See them here, five of them. They're all open. Stop. Runs the script and they're all and they're all closed. And there you go. So that was pretty simple. I hope this wasn't too confusing. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about how all this sort of piping works, line three to line two, line one to speakers and all this. Just just follow these instructions, these directions, do it exactly as uh as I said, and you should be fine. Um, it does get a little complicated if you try to wrap your brain around it. It's a bit like uh, trying to figure out what the universe is and why it's here and what we're all doing and what's the meaning of life. I don't know. Just like I don't know what these audio cables do exactly, but they they work. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, watch my videos. Subscribe. Uh, if you need uh, any other help with anything, then uh, let me know in the in the comments. If you if you need uh, any help with DX Tori, I uh, can do a tutorial on that, setting that up, or I could do a tutorial on. I use uh, Sony Vegas to edit, and uh, I've struggled a little bit with trying to find some of the best uh, rendering settings in Vegas and ways of doing things. And I've got a pretty good system going now, so I could always do that too. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have watched, I hope this has been helpful. I hope that you are recording your friends on a separate channel so that you can mute them when they're being jerks. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye, lovelies.